Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing a Matterport 3D floor plan with the Matterport camera of this single story 2500 square foot home in North Scottsdale, Arizona. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to go in and get the home set up first. Um, we just did a walkthrough video. So the fans are turned on, so we're gonna make sure to turn those off. That's gonna be one of the main things. And then make sure all the doors are in good spots. So let's bring the camera in here. And I'll just set it here at the entry where we start the, the, the scanning. Shut the door. All right, so we'll work this way and just turn off. Actually, we'll want the. F I believe it was on low. Let me try. Watch. Nope. We'll see. I don't know. All right, this one is by itself, so that switch will turn it off. And then this one. Now these can slow down since we're going to be starting by the by the front door. You just want to make sure that your fans are off. So it does look like it's slowing down. Let me double check this one. All right, that one's off. That was I was kind of worried about that one. All right, now let's go here. The the fans off here. Uh, we turned on the porch fans. They're likely not going to show up much, but turn them off anyways. And just double check this way. No fans. Oh, we have the door stop here. Um, so actually, this door doesn't need one. It, it can be open by itself. And then there's also like a little workshop area off of the garage. So I'll open the, the door, it doesn't auto close either. So that'll be good. All right, now I'm, so now that I, I focused on the fans, but not so much the doors. Um, now do we want to leave this open? I think the Matterport will automatically uh, mark that one as a closet or a pantry. So actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna. Turn, I'm gonna have one of them open, so that it gets better. I think. Or here, maybe like that. All right. But if the homeowner or the agent is here, um, you know, I I give them the option to have that open or closed. But when you're here, you just kind of by yourself, you got to just make a judgment call. Now I'm just double checking the fans that they're off. We're good to go. Um, the doors. Now these are walk-in closets in these main rooms here. We'll make sure to model these. That's what my second run through this house was the doors because I wasn't really paying too much attention. Don't, I'm not going to worry so much about this. Let me just double check back here. Um, doors, all right, doors are good. All right, now I'm coming back out. All right, closets, doors, that's a closet. We're gonna leave that shut. We're good over here. We're gonna be able to flow. All right, I feel confident. So, home is ready to do the Matterport. Now, uh, now we're gonna start scanning. All right, so let me just raise up my my tripod a little bit. Actually, I'll extend these lower ones. I like to manage the tripod height on these top ones on the Matterport because they're kind of easier to adjust if we need to. But I kind of put it at about five feet and then lock it. All right, that looks pretty straight. All right, now we'll go into the app. Let me start the screen recording. All 
All right, we're recording. So go into the Matterport Capture app and go to plus, and we'll call this Scottsdale Matterport. All right, and I'm just gonna hit save. And it actually already connected to the camera, which is awesome. So now we'll just get out of the way and start scanning. And here we go. All right, so it's starting to scan so that we know the metrics at the end of this. So this is a 2,500 square foot home. Um, it's currently 113 and it's at 78% battery life. So we'll see uh, how long it takes us to scan this home. Uh, it, there is a lot of furniture, so we're likely gonna have to do multiple scans in different rooms. But here, we'll start here, and I'm gonna go right here. Now I'm just gonna stand back here. I wish it just transferred a little bit faster. All right, so we got a good starting point here. Um, now I'm thinking about, you know, marking windows and mirrors. But right now I'm just trying to think about, you know, the route that I want to take. So I'll scan that, do the second scan there, and then I'll probably work my way over here. I'm just trying to think mentally what a potential buyer or occupant would want to see. So let's come over here. You don't want your scans to be too terribly far apart. I think they recommend somewhere around eight feet or so. Um, but in my opinion, it just depends on the house. Sometimes that are wide open with not much furniture, you can do, um, you know, less scans than you need to. So we'll see. All right. Let's move this now over here. Now there's a mirror right there on the wall. I'm going to position the Matterport to where it's not in the reflection. Now I'm going to get out of the way, start scanning. Now I'm going to mark, start marking windows. So we had a window on the door. So I'm going to swap window right here, another window right here, and there's actually a mirror. I'll wait for the next scan and I'll mark the mirror. All right, so that's pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is probably to get the data behind this table, since it was obstructed in the last one, I'm going to do a scan right here, and then I'll probably do a scan right there. All right, so it's still scanning. Now let me uh, mark the mirror, which is above that chair right there. <clears throat> So that's the front, no windows on that wall. Um, all right, so looking good so far. I feel like we're up to date. Now we're just gonna keep the camera spinning. So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right here so where people from over here could uh, pick a dot right there and then come into the kitchen. Now there's going to be some, you know, missing information behind the table, but it doesn't have to be, you don't have to have data everywhere, especially on a furnished house. The model will still turn out looking good. It doesn't look like that on the finished product. All right. Now they need to do a firmware update to make these scan a little bit faster. They actually used to scan much slower than they do now, but it would be nice if they scan even faster. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. Let's move out of the way. All right, keep this thing scanning. All right, so we got everything marked. Some good navigation points for somebody they could pretty much easily go through these points. So in this one, 
We'll do one straight ahead in the kitchen. And uh, yeah, I feel like it's going pretty good. All right, so from here, somebody might want to come right here. So we got that. So we're starting to see some windows, but I'll wait till we get a few more scans just so I can see, you can mark them a little bit more clear, clearly. All right. So from here, I'm going to move it. So over here, I'm going to point it away from me so it's finished. I'm start scanning before I am completely out of the uh, the view of the camera and now I'm looking at the model it's going good we haven't had any uh, alignment issues batteries down to 77 percent we've done eight scans so far so it's only dropped one percent so it's doing well from a stamina standpoint all right from here I'm gonna scan right here in front of the, uh, the pantry. And I'm always looking as well like, all right, so I'm scanning right here right now, so it's gonna get data here. Do we want another scan closer to the window where people can see the view of, you know, when they're sitting down eating? Maybe. So what I'll do, so I'll do a scan right here. This is a good one. It shows outside and inside. Let's start, keep it scanning. All right, so now we have some data here. I'm gonna mark the windows here in the kitchen. We got windows. Right there and right here, all right. Time to move. All right, from here, I'm gonna go towards the uh, laundry room. All right, so we got four points here in the kitchen area. Um, that'll be good. And then we'll go into the laundry room. Probably go to the bathroom and then Go into the garage in that little uh, shop area. Here we go. All right. So here I'm gonna scan. Just in the entryway right here of the the bathroom. This is probably all that we need in there. So we scanned on the outside here. Then I'm gonna do one right where somebody could navigate from here and kind of work their way to the garage. If somebody was standing right there, you can't really see into the garage, so it'd be hard to um, to actually go in there. All right, we're looking good so far. No alignment issues, which is always good. So we'll put it right here. Don't point it away from me. Keep it scanning. And then there was a mirror in the bathroom. You can just right above the sink. So I might as well mark it as we go. And we had some windows on the door. There's a little window as well here. All right, let's move this into the garage. Now from here, we'll probably just scan right here in the middle. There's a car in the garage, so um, you know, we're kind of limited on what we can scan there, but that'll be a good center point. And then if somebody wants to go into the shop, um, they'll be able to navigate there, but putting it more in the center, we're going to get a lot more data. So we don't, you know, if we barely went in and we'd probably be missing some data, uh, a little further away. All right. So, 
So from that shot, we we probably won't like the the workshop is a nice little bonus, um, and that's probably a good spot. Just standing there at the entrance, you can kind of get the gist of that whole space. I probably am not going to do an additional scan from inside it, um, as long as it scans a good amount of uh, data in there. We'll see. I mean, it actually goes back pretty far, so let me see. You know what? I'd rather just be safe and scan it than think about it and not scan. So it looks like it did pick up pretty much everything. Uh, the extra strand is not going to hurt us. It takes an extra minute. And then from here, we're going to hustle back to um, the living room. Then we'll go back to the uh, other side of the home. Let me sh fold down my tripod leg so I don't beat the house up on the way over there. All right, so right here, I know that I have scans right here in the kitchen. So I'm going to start right here. So yep, we have seven, and then we're scanning right there. Then from there, we'll uh, scan in the corner of the room, make our way back, which we already have the entryway. So yeah, it's going good, I think. Uh, but um, the only problem is while it's scanning right now, the battery on the Matterport, at least on here, it says, OK. Well, while it was scanning, it said 38%. Now it says 76. So I think it's more like 76. All right, keep that thing spinning. All right, so we got that. Yeah, now it says 76. All right, so we're going to go there. We'll get the data on the windows. We'll mark the windows. Now go into the corner of the room. And then just, so basically, two more scans in this room, and then we're coming down the hallway. As long as we don't have any alignment issues. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm probably walking the long way. There's probably something we can walk, I feel like it. All right, so we're at 19 scans. So right there. And then right there. Yeah, so right now I'm looking at the overall view of the scans. I feel like, you know, it's a pretty consistent amount of distance between the points. All right, so last scan here. Next scan is going to probably be... Um, probably towards the front of the hallway. And I'm about to start start uh, moving the camera, so I'm not going to start marking features. All right, here we go. So we got one here. Let's just go like that. I think it's a little bit too optimistic if you went all the way down the hallway. It's probably a little more than eight feet and it's better to be safe than sorry sometimes you'll be way too optimistic and then just have alignment issues when you should have just scanned a little bit closer to begin with all right so now let me mark this window all right now we're about to move all right i'm going to put it right here we're going to get data down this hallway in each of these rooms. And that'll kind of set us up for alignment success on the next ones. So we'll go in. All right, just double checking my work, making sure I got everything marked that I need to. 76%, 22 scans so far. 
Okay, so now I'm going to just come a little bit into the room. There's a little mirror on the wall. All right, so let's see what we got. So that one aligned no problem. So this scan, I'll get a lot of information on this side of the bed. We'll have to get one on that side. We have the closet doors open. So maybe we can get away with one more scan that shows both the closet and um, the room here. Let's see. So maybe right here. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. Usually I'm not scanning inside closets unless it's a master. All right, that looks pretty good. We got a couple more windows to, we can mark. Let's tap and swap. And there's a tiny mirror, which you can see a little bit of a reflection out there from it. I'll mark it after I move it next. All right, I feel like we're good there. I'm gonna come into this room. We could always go back if we needed to. Just come into this room. Probably do the same type of strategy. Same type of strategy as the other one. Yeah, so I feel like we got enough data there in the closet. Um, yeah, the model should look good. Um, if you wanted to, you could do a scan in there. You'll get a little bit more data. Um, but we shouldn't have too many issues there. I mean, we'll see. I'm always like second guessing myself when I go through some stuff. All right, now let's do it right here so that we're not in it, in the reflection of that mirror that's on the wall. Here we got some windows. And we have that tiny mirror that's on the wall right there. I'll mark it. Just in case it's creating this little blurb out there in space. We don't want that in on the final model. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do those two extra scans in the closets. But now you can see that uh, that reflection on the door. So we need to make sure to mark that right now. So front, otherwise we might have some weird alignment coming in soon. You can always see what the reflection looks like. You can see it's just picked up a, basically a mirror image outside on the bed. All right, let's come through here. Let me go back into that other closet. I think I've had so many little things where, you know, oh, that's not that big of a deal. And then we're going back out there reshooting it because, you know, we didn't spend the extra minute to do an extra scan or something. So it's always a better experience for the customer as well it's to be a little maybe too thorough than not thorough enough. All right, yep, so 28 worked. We haven't had any. That's what, one that I was on the fence about, but I did mark that mirror before it aligned, so I think um, that, that definitely helped. We have a mirror on this door as well. We'll see. All right, so we have a scan here. We're going to have to go into this bathroom, so we'll stop here in the hallway and get a scan right here where we're in the hallway and then getting data inside the bathroom as well. Then we'll move and do a scan um, in the bathroom. All right, so I'm gonna move it into the bathroom here. While juggling an iPad, flatten it back out. All right. Now let me just double check. I didn't mark the mirror on this door. And all right, 
so that's good. Going into the bathroom. I'm gonna put my iPad down, it's a lot easier to move it. So now I'm gonna go to the end of the hall right here. Just scan right here. And now we're spinning. Let's see here. All right, so we're going down this hallway and this is basically the last wing of the house. We have mirror here, windows. So as long as we mark properly, we shouldn't have any issues. All right, so now I'm coming in here, point it away from me. side of the room now the bathroom I'll mark that mirror that was on the wall mirror there and also on this wall all right so we're ready to go all right from here since that is the master I'm gonna do a couple of additional scans here we'll do the corner and we'll just move out here into the hall. All right, scanning well. From here, I'll do one that a scan in front of the bed that will scan the bathroom. I'll finish off the room before I uh, do the bathroom area. All right, here we go, last part. So we'll just put it right here. Let's see. Window. Yeah, so probably just one more scan on that side of the room should be good. And then inside the bathroom and shower. So we'll come over here in this relaxing area, book reading area, whatever you want to call that. All right, so it's 35 scans, still no issues. The battery life has gone from 78 to 74. I think we started at 112. So that's been, what, 24 minutes, 35 scans, and 4% uh, battery decrease on the Matterport so, so far. All right, let's move it. So we have a mirror right here. I'm just going to go down this hallway right here. All right, so the scan right there, yeah, that'll be good. And we avoided that mirror. There's a mirror right there. I'll mark it after I move the camera. I'm just gonna move it straight to the, uh, right here, not too far inside, but enough to where somebody could actually go from the previous scan into the closet if they wanted to. And here, I'll go ahead and mark that mirror right here. All right. And then uh, the bathroom area. I think that might be it for the interior. I'll do two scans in here. One close and then one in a little bit. Oh, there's a lot of mirrors. So we gotta keep an eye out on all the reflections. So one at the entrance and then I'll, I'll move it in so it'll scan the shower as well. And then 
We can uh, add the 360 captures if we want to. There's a, there's a window of mirrors. I'm gonna pay attention when I go back in there as to where the mirrors are in here. So just two on the, in the middle and then we'll scan right here. I'm positioning it to where it's not in the reflection. It's gonna capture all that. All right, so we got the window. And then we have mirror. Mirrors there, swap. All right, so 2,500 square feet, 40 scans. No alignment issues, pretty good. All right, I do want to get two exterior shots, 360 captures, one on the porch out front and then one on the porch in the back. But we're good with the uh, model of the interior. And you can just deliver that as is. That's what the customers expect, just the interior model of the Matterport usually. But I'm gonna do one scan here. I think it looks nice out here. If the house looks terrible outside, definitely don't do this. But it's pretty good. All right. So now we'll shut the door, go to options and 360 capture, scan it. And then, so just one there and then one out back on the porch area, or maybe actually closer out a little further by the pool. We'll see when we get out there. Now I feel like the Matterport is a much better interior camera than exterior. Um, the Theta Z1 camera does better exterior captures, but their interior white balance is all over the place. So for Matterports, I prefer the Matterport, the official Matterport camera, but the Z1, you know, definitely has its uh, good points here. Now I'm, I'm trying to uh, just showcase everything out here. This is a good good spot. I don't want to push it too far and then the camera is in the sun. I'm gonna put it right here and then we can just shut it. Camera's staring straight at us so capture that now. And then we'll go to this 360 capture and we'll put it, place it on the map. Now that's the kitchen. Here's the front. We can place it on the map while we're waiting. It actually got it pretty close. So we we're just right there outside. All right. And that's it. And I, I definitely wouldn't recommend doing a hundred scans outside unless you're really, you want to set that expectation with your customers. They're going to expect it all the time. So you just want to make sure you're getting a good return on your time. Um, and then we're just going to place this last one. Let's see where it places it now. It's weird. It kind of guesses where it should go, it seems like. So I'm going to put it right out here outside these windows. And I think that's going to do it. So uh, it's 142. It took us 30 minutes to do a 2,500 square foot home. We did 40 scans plus the two exteriors and our battery life went down from 78% to 73% um, overall. So anyways, that's going to do it for this Matterport floor plan of this particular home. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out. And as always, we're going to put the home back in the condition we found it before we leave. And we'll see you guys on the next one.